we're just here having a look at Nigel White's demonstration site for some of the uh, Craig Sponholtz um, structures that we built in this site in May 13. So we're just having a bit of a look at how they've gone over the last two and a half years, what sort of progress has been made. So the first site here is the uh, first structure is the Media Luna. So it was designed to spread the water um, and uh, so not be concentrated so that when, it, when the water came down out of the flow line that it just uh, lessened the damage and just spread it over the landscape. So you can see since it's gone in it's collected a lot of sediment, leaves and litter and is sort of locked in with a lot of vegetation so it's doing its job. This site was chosen because there was uh, opportunity to put lots of different structures in uh, so and act as a demonstration site for more people to do other, other sites around the district. It was worked on by about um, possibly about 15 volunteers uh, and we built it in about a day so it went in quite quickly. You can see here's the first uh, single rock wall that's gone in. It's been pretty much obscured by all the vegetation, uh, litter and, and soil. It's washed down from higher up so it's catching. It is slightly coming around the side there a little bit but we've just placed a, a stick there to try and redirect the flow back down over the structure. This is a second single rock dam. It's also caught a, a heap of um, sediment behind it and it's grassed up pretty well. The next rock wall, it's got quite a bit of junkus growing in it and um, yeah it's really um, yeah it's really established in there now and it's not going anywhere. This is the, another rock wall. It was built just below uh, the timber uh, timber construction here in this little gully head. The timber is just about obscured underneath. The, there's been a few rocks moved down, a um, bit of litter, but it's it's sort of holding holding there, and it has held a bit of sediment up behind it, so it's hanging in there. battering off on the sides just a little bit so it's a little um, little rock structure there and that was just to direct the flow back down to make sure it stayed over this this structure it's got a little bit of movement there a few rocks have obviously moved further down but they haven't moved very far at all they've just gone down and, and resting on that other structure so Probably not a big worry. This was more of a rock fill. I think it was a it was a narrow, deep little gully, and I think we just pretty much filled it with rock. And so it's it's caught uh, a heap of sediment in there. Um, yeah, so it's it's really um, just caught a heap in there, and it's got a bit of grass growing in there. Or if we do anything here we might just maybe widen it a little bit at the top and make sure that the, the flow stays um, centered it's the next little rock structure it's just looking up further towards the um, the zuni bowl and the other structures further up and they've uh, grassed up really well so it's looking pretty good up there walls in quick succession. You see the junkus is um, established in there and, and that'll do its own little job, slowing the water down, taking a bit of energy out. They've really been locked up with a lot of that, um, a lot of the grasses really grabbed hold of them. Uh, this 
is like a rock rundown. The, um, there was already a bit of um, the grasses and junk established there, and so it sort of sloped down. So we just popped a single layer of rock on the steeper edge of that, uh, just to hold that. And it's um, caught a bit of sediment gone past, and it's um, really grassed up quite well. A few little there on the side, just to make sure that the uh, the water stays stays in the centre. side gully here. It, um, it was lined with rocks to try and um, slow the water and it's done a fantastic job in there. You barely know that there was any rocks coming to that. All the grasses. Coming up to the Zuni Bowl. See the little single rock structure at the bottom just to protect it. It's grassed up. The Zuni Bowl itself. with uh, sediment and it's got some really um, good ground cover in the bottom of it. A bit of junk is holding it in there and it's, um, I don't think it's moved at all. It's done a really great job there. Just a single little rock a structure on the side that was just to redirect the flow. If um, Make sure it comes into the centre down the Zuni Bowl. So we went all the trouble building it, we wanted the water to go through it. So it's, it's done a great job there. There was a bit of extra rock as well, so it's probably a bit more substantial than you'd need, but we had the extra rock. As you see, there's just a little bit of fretting down there, and Nigel was here before, and he's just popped a couple of small rocks in there just to try and take a bit of the energy out. You can also see that Nigel's put a couple of logs there. That was just to redirect um, the animals that have been walking down here just to stop them walking over the structures. Um, this side hasn't been fenced. It's just running with stock all the time. So it's, um, it has to, has to deal with whatever, whatever is grazing happening at the time and it's done a pretty good job at holding itself together. This is just a bit further up. And right up the end there, there is a small structure that Nigel has built since, just to grab that very top, just to hold that together. We just look back down over the whole site. And there it is. Made some pretty good progress uh, with this site over about the last two and a half years.